אורית נאור, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. You are the executive director of America Israel Cultural Foundation. And many Israeli musicians for many generations now owe a great depth of gratitude to this fantastic institute. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, uh, actually many musicians and many actresses and uh, artists, filmmakers, uh, dancers, because uh, the America Israel Cultural Foundation uh, um, supports five disciplines of the arts, supports individuals and as well as uh, um, institutions, art ins institutions in Israel. Uh, the foundation was established in 1939, before Israel was, Israel was born, by um, American philanthropists. Uh, the idea was to establish professional structure uh, of art and culture in Israel. And uh, most of the very well-known uh, cultural institutions in Israel got uh, the initial support for the funding from AICF. This is how we call AICF. Uh, after supporting the um, institutions and, um, and, and schools for arts, the foundation decided to create a scholarship uh, program, which we call it the Charette Scholarship Program. Uh, it was established in, uh, in the 50s. The first uh, chairman of the of the um, program was Moshe Sharet, ah. so it's under his name. The legendary foreign the, minister. Exactly. And for a very short while, even uh, the prime, prime minister. Prime minister. Yes. yes, yes. And we even have here a, a picture of him, so I'll, I'll show you after. And uh, then we started. Uh, not we. I was not born yet, but uh, the foundation started also to to support individuals. Uh, what, what do we mean by support individuals? We have um, um, auditions uh, process, auditions process during the year, every year, in all the disciplines, where we, we try to, to find those that have a potential for excellence. Uh, the foundation is an excellence foundation. The idea is to create the next generation of professional uh, artists in Israel, uh, those that will uh, create in Israel and some of them also create outside of Israel and they serve also as our ambassadors and I believe that they are the best ambassadors and I hope I don't uh, hurt anybody but uh, art is the best ambassador for Culture them. buzz tends to agree. Great. Um, so if, just to name a few, if we look at our past recipients we have uh, Itzhak Perlman and Pinchas Zuckerman, uh, we have Daniel Barenboim, Misha Maisky, Ohad Naharim. Wow. We also gave uh, a lot of support to the Batsheva Dance Company, to the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra, uh, to the museums, Tel Aviv, Jerusalem. Uh, if we look at the um, film industry, we have Ethan Fuchs, Dover Kosashvili, um, we have Itai Tiran from the theater. Uh, we have many in we have Sigalit Landau and Michal Rovner uh, so it's uh, it's impressing and I must say that uh, very few of the well-known artists the Israeli well-known artists didn't pass through AICF so they do this audition and it's difficult to get a scholarship but once you you manage to to pass the very high uh, um, Standards. Standards of oh. the foundation of the criteria. Yeah, of the criteria. You get a scholarship, study scholarship, and you get enrichment program in the certain field that you are in, and the guidance, professional guidance, and uh, and master classes, and uh, many many other things. So it's a really package. It's a package that uh, someone that get to be a recipient of AICF get once that he passed the audition. Above of everything, it's a prestige. To be an AICF recipient is a prestige. The people, the artists, they put it in their bio. It's well known in Israel, it's well known in the world. And I can tell you as one that uh, was born in Beersheba, born and raised in Beersheba, I used to play the flute 
and uh, I went to those auditions. I was very scared, and I I thought, wow, this this is really something to achieve. And uh, I, I got I got the support, and I think that I owe AICF my career as a musician because I was a musician uh, for over 20 years, and uh, now I'm in the other side trying to give back to those to this foundation that uh, that that I cherish so much. And of course, you know the famous saying: "Once a musician, always a musician." Right. We are uh, watching just uh, behind yes. you to historic pictures. We so, see Isaac yeah, Stern Isaac and we Stern. see Leonard Bernstein. Yeah. Isaac Stern was actually the president of AICF for many years, really until uh, he died. And we see with him uh, Roy Shiloach, which is a violinist and is part of the Jerusalem Trio uh, in, the, in a master class. Um, I, I want to also mention something that I didn't, that the Part of the support that we give, the foundation give for musicians, for example, we have an instrument bank. So those that can't afford to buy instruments, especially string instruments that can arrive to millions, we have a very nice bank of instruments. This is one of the instruments from the bank that Roy plays on it. I mean, not now, now he has his own instrument, but here and uh, we lend them and uh, it's also a tool for them to, to become you know, better, better musicians, better artists. And here we have Lenny, Leonard Bernstein, the you know, very famous uh, everything, conductor, composer, musician, pianist, sure. uh, with Roy Shiloch and Shira Rabin, uh, two violinists uh, in one of AICF's uh, activities. Fantastic. So uh, this is uh, also the the, the Jewish thing that uh, everybody really uh, around the world is connected to AICF, to its recipients, and most of the, most of our judges, examiners, uh, teachers that give the enrichment programs are past recipients of AICF. Fantastic. So they give Fantastic. back. Yes. I must say this is uh, quite impressive. Just listening to the list of names you have mentioned, such an impressive gallery of performers in so many fields. So basically I believe that uh, if I opened by saying that many artists owe you, AICF, a great depth of gratitude, we can strengthen it and say that Israel and maybe the entire world absolutely should absolutely. be grateful to the wonderful work done here for so many years. Orit, we met during the Aviv competition. Right. Can you tell us a bit about it? Yes. The Aviv competition is really one of the highlights uh, also of the foundation. Um, it's, uh, it, it meant to, to uh, support and encourage uh, the most excellent mu musicians uh, in Israel. Uh, therefore, we are taking really the, the best of the best of our recipients. It's already difficult to get scholarships from ASCF. It's already difficult to get a scholarship from ASCF, and they are the, the, the best of the best. The best of the best, and they. Um, what we call la creme de la creme. The creme de la creme, really. And, um, and from the, between ages 21 to 30, uh, the level of those competitions, it's a national competition uh, for each uh, field. For example, for flute, it's every three years, uh, for piano, it's every three years. So we have uh, every year for different instruments. Uh, the level is very high. It's uh, you can compare it to an international competition level. I think you you would agree with me. You were there. You yes. came to listen. Yes, definitely. Uh, it's every year in the wonderful uh, Rekanati Auditorium in the Tel Aviv Museum. Open for the public. Uh, open for the public. Free for the public. And people come. They enjoy it very much. It's important, not only for the public. It's important for the musicians that are on stage. Uh, the jury usually also is a very prestige. A jury and uh, we we grant uh, one unfortunately only one prize every year for each category uh, this year we had it for uh, piano woodwinds uh, cello and singing and voice 
uh, it was really great and it a lot indeed. of uh, tension. And it was a marvelous uh, event and uh, so it's usually we actually, two we, weeks. Uh, we actually regretted when it was over. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm guessing, after listening to you, that as a, a musician and a flute uh, player, you are probably resisting the urge to be one of the judges when the flute uh, players are uh, Well, I keep playing. myself out. Uh, I it was a the, joke. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but, a uh, joke. but when I hear them, I have, you know, between myself to myself, I, I have my, my, my uh, you know, ideas and uh, <laughs> choices. Yeah. Orit, we have uh, spoken about the past, the glorious past, and uh, very active and industrious uh, present. What about the future? What are the future plans? Uh, if we want to speak about the future, I must uh, also mention uh, um, that uh, AICF uh, uh, had a very, very difficult times uh, with the financial crisis due to made of uh, a fraud. So uh, I think that the most beautiful thing about it is that because it's so important, AICF, and uh, so relevant, uh, it managed to continue, to get the support it deserves in, in order to continue the, this important mission. But it's, uh, we don't have uh, the, the same endowment that we had and we, we struggle. We don't get any support, any governmental support. It's uh, just from uh, donations, it's only philanthropy money. So uh, this is a, it's always a challenge to be able to, to raise enough funds in order to, to, to do and continue this important mission. For me, as a past recipient of AICF, I mean, I was there when this crisis happened. I, it was clear to me that I'm not going to let this uh, thing fall. This, uh, this wonderful, really wonderful foundation and institution has to continue always. Israel owes a lot to AICF. The cultural life in Israel wouldn't look the same today if AICF wouldn't exist. So the future, we intend to continue, continue and to continue to support this, uh, the young artists, the young students, and uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a difficult career to be an artist, especially in Israel, it's difficult. And I think that we give, uh, we give hope give hope to those uh, uh, musicians, artists, dancers, uh, financially and, and professionally. And uh, Culture Buzz can't resist another temptation, joining you and calling upon everybody who cares about music and excellence to support AICF as generously as possible. Before concluding, Orit, if I may ask you, since normally when you think about cultural centers in Israel, you think about the big cities, and you yourself are coming from what we call Peripheria, yes. Be'er Sheva, mm -hmm. the capital of the Negev, mm -hmm. uh, and the wonderful place, if I may say so myself. When you run AICF, I am guessing that you give lots of thought to the periphery and to young musicians who are coming from there. Am I right? This is a, a good guess. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I personally think that uh, there is to give a special attention to the periphery. And uh, it was also before my time, but uh, during my time we also, we, uh, we have more programs to the periphery, to encourage the periphery, to to make the gaps between the periphery to the big cities a little uh, uh, smaller and to, to bridge actually and to, to give the equal opportunity, re really equal uh, opportunity. And this is, this is interesting that you say it because uh, in, during my, when I was a recipient, we didn't have those programs and I felt, uh, uh, I felt that this is something that should have been. And, and it wasn't. And, uh, and, and today we have a lot of programs in the periphery and uh, we see the fruits. The fruits 
of those programs is that uh, the children from these programs come to our auditions and actually win a scholarship, get into the, the program of ASF. And you have to be excellent. You have to be excellent. It's not because he's from the periphery, he got a scholarship. He, he's there because he managed to pass the audition. And this is a very touching and, and great. Very interesting, uh, very inspiring. And how do you conclude such an interview? Maybe the best way will be to say that uh, Orit, uh, it was the AIC, AICF that helped you when you were young, yes. and now it seems it's the other way around. Orit is the one I'm trying, trying giving to back it. to AICF, and in the process, so many people are enjoying what you are doing. I wish AICF all the best and lots of success, and thank you for your important work. Basically, it's a mission. It is a mission. It's a mission. It's, a, it's an important mission. And I think that uh, generally art and culture in Israel is an island of sanity. So it's very important. And with all this uh, really dynamic and intensive life here, that we have something like this. And, and if I may, one word, because you said before about the support that we need. Uh, I'm not asking for support. I just want to thank, to thank our supporters and to, to say that the, really the, the most um, touching thing for me from this crisis was to discover the Israeli uh, donors, supporters, philanthropy. I mean, those that really saved AICF after the, the crisis were the Israeli supporters, and I'm very proud of it. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck in the future. Thank you.